Today we're going to um, find our x and y intercepts given an equation and the equation that we're going to use is going to be our slope intercept form. And we know that our slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. If you have not watched the video on um, slope intercept form, please watch that video and I'll explain what each piece of this equation means. Okay, let's get started. So I have the equation y equals 6x plus 18. Well, as you can tell that this is not in standard form, so we can't use the same process that we use for standard form. Standard form was pretty simple because in our last video, in the standard form video, we just covered up our term and we were able to come up with two equations um, and find our x and y intercepts. So let's let's just do it that way that same process we want to change this slope intercept form into standard form and by doing that if we change this slope intercept form into standard form we'll be able to go through this process which is a very simple process okay so we need to in order to change our slope intercept form into standard form, we need to end up with our x and y um, terms on the same side. This is my y term, this is my x term. They need to be on the same side. Okay? Now, since my x term, my, I'm sorry, since my y term is already on the side by itself, I just need to move this, um, this x term over here on this side. Another way of saying this, I need to isolate my constant term. This number that's sitting here, it needs to be on the side by itself. That's just another way of saying it, okay? So I'm going to, in order to isolate my constant term here of 18, I'm going to subtract 6x on both sides. The 6x's will cancel each other out. That's going to leave me with negative 6x plus y equals 18. It's in standard form now. So now I can cover up my first term. That leaves, leaves me with y equals 18. And now if I cover up my second term, that's going to leave me with negative 6x equals 18. This equation is already solved y equals 18, but I need to s isolate my x here. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. And that's going to leave me with x equals negative 3. So I know that my y-intercept is, is 18 and my x-intercept is negative This three. time I have 2x equals negative 8y equals 16. I'm sorry, minus 16. Minus 16. Okay. So, um, I need to isolate this term on the side, on a side by itself. So I need to move this negative 8y over here with this 2x. So I'm going to add 8y to both sides. The 8y's are going to cancel each other out because they're opposite terms. Um, if you have not watched the video on, um, on like terms, please watch the video on like terms and I'll explain why, I can, why they cancel each other out, okay? Um, so over here on the left-hand side, so that's going to leave me with 2x plus 
8y equals, now that's a minus 16, so that's going to be negative 16. Don't forget to bring this negative down with a 16. So now that I have my constant isolated over here on the side by itself, I can cover up my first term. That's going to leave me with 8y equals negative 16. Now I'm going to cover up my, my, eight, my second term, which, is, which will leave me with 2x equals negative 16. Now I can solve both of my equations. So y equals negative 2. and x equals negative 8. So therefore my y-intercept is negative 2 and my x-intercept is negative 8. Try this. Negative y equals 3x minus 6. If you'll please put the video on pause while you find your x and y-intercepts. And if you would like to graph the x and graph your line, that'll also be okay. All right, we need to isolate the negative 6 on the side by itself. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. The 3x's will cancel. That's going to leave you with negative 3x minus y equals negative 6. So now I'm going to cover up my first term here. So that's negative y equals negative 6. Now I'm going to cover up my second term, which is negative 3x equals negative 6. For my y, I need to get rid of this negative, okay? So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. So y equals 6. And I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. And y equals 2. Now, if you don't understand this process that I just did on both of these equations, if you'll please watch the video on solving equations, and, and I'll go through um, in detail on why I'm able to do this, okay? So, now let's graph our line using our two intercepts. This is our x. This is our y. So my y-intercept is 6, so on my y-line I'll put a dot on 6. My x-intercept is 2, so on my x-line I'm going to put a dot on 2. And I'm going to connect my two dots and extend my line. And there you go. Alright, well that's it for today. Um, please visit mathwithmoon.org for more videos, and I will see you next time. Bye.